Hi, Ogita. Hi. Hi, Lola. Hi. So nice to meet you in person almost. <laughs> yeah, you were saying you were originally from Ukraine. So I grew up pretty much there my whole summer because both of my parents are from Ukraine. So both uh, set of my grandparents and all relatives are in Ukraine. So um, when my father became a pilot, back in the days, they used to assign, you know, where the pilots are needed to what part of the USSR are going to go. So they sent him to Siberia. <laughs> That's where I was born. That's why I'm in California. <laughs> because yeah. I had enough of Siberia <laughs> yes it was tough um yeah and uh I moved to California 11 years ago almost yeah wonderful fabulous and you found out about me from a woman who's yes yeah, so I yeah uh -huh. so it was an interesting story um I have a friend she's like my American mother she lives in San Diego and she had this horrible knee pain, like which was bugging her. And she was traveling in Europe with a lot of walking and bikes, uh, bikes and etc. And she kept complaining and making like, a big deal out of it. I'm old, it's never gonna go away, blah, 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 something serious. And I kept telling her, like, no, don't, don't tell it to yourself, like, you know, don't because that's gonna happen. So she went back to San Diego and there was some um uh metaphysical workshop fair metaphysical yeah, fair. metaphysical yeah. fair going on so you were there she came to you and she said you just like touched it or something and the pain was gone yeah it took gone. about a minute yeah yeah minute. it was gone so mm -hmm. she was so happy she couldn't believe it and uh she took your contact and she kept telling me the story every time I was there I was like so you, you don't have any pain <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have any pain because she was like, it was such a, it's like, uh, it was really a, like a huge transformation for her because she thought she was going to go to the dog to do x-rays, blah, 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 you know the story. So um, then I had some pain here, which kept bothering me. And I have a friend who kind of sees stuff, Yes, you know, like he, he has um, eyes on his palms, yes. like literally out of, out of this uh, lines. So he's a healer, uh, and he told me that there is something going on. He, I think he took it away though, and but he told me to check. So I thought maybe I will check it with you. That's how I got your number. And Catherine, she sent me the number like straight from Google, and it was your straight number, your direct number. <laughs> so I just called you, <laughs> and you're like, "How did you get my number?" <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and and then. Um, I was trying to get you to do portal one, which is the entry because okay. I don't do cold sessions with new people anymore because why, you know, when portal one does that. and you weren't real happy about that at first. So I had, uh, no, it was, <laughs> it was so funny. Like I was yeah. so, I kind of was like angry, like why? Why is she pushing portal one? What is this portal one? It's like, I'm talking to an alien or something. I, I called with the, real problem like this is pain and uh the relationships every time fall apart at one uh at the s same period of time and she gives uh, she tells me portal one portal one it's like what is this <laughs> and you said you were too advanced for that you yes, were i said i was too advanced for that. no i said it later look at this i said it later i didn't even want to get it right so, you didn't but you kept, i do want to get it and i didn't have uh spare money for that but I started learning that if I, every time I spend money, I say to myself, like, whatever I spent right now, I'm going to double in income. Well, when you do and it, it can have, portal so one, I spent, definitely. <laughs> I, I spent $300 and I got 500 randomly from, you know, right. and you said a very cool phrase when um, you were saying, you say a lot of stuff which I use with my students. That's that that that's why it kind of was catchy for me. So you said if your life is important for you, you find this money. Oh, yeah. That's what you told. Yeah. The most, <laughs> your development is the most important thing in the world. And and that wasn't the first time when later you came back and you said, I'm too advanced for this. Yeah, no, that wasn't the first time I'd heard that because people often have this metaphysical knowledge, but there's a foundation that works under it 
that very often I find they don't have. They have this metaphysical stuff up here, but the foundation mean, to use yeah. it and ground it, be in their bodies, know what to do about their emotions and thoughts. If mm -hmm. all of that isn't there, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. so what did you so find that you got that you suddenly realized, oh, I do need that. I, I have like a, a go? list. I made, a, I made okay. a lot of notes while I was studying. So it was very yeah. hard for me to start. It was such, like you say, it was a small me fighting or something. So I paid for it. I talked to you. You told me that, look, I'm a mess. <laughs> and you can't, you can't. You know, a little tough like, love. Yeah, Sometimes. Not yeah. often, but and, sometimes I go talk And I'm like, and I was, I was asking about the, my, my boyfriend at that time. I said, like, it's not even important right now. You're like, we're going to go to the, I know. I'm like, that's talking. not important. And you're going, oh, yes, it is. <laughs> so, yeah. So when I started that day reading it, and every time when I try to uh, learn something, because I'm, I'm a learner, I'm always like, open for something new. Right. Um, you know, like I started NLP to use it for my students because I try to improve my method and stuff like that. Yeah. So I opened it and I started reading it. And I was like, I know all of this. I know. In fact, my son preaches this. And uh, I also watch uh, Joe Spencer. And I'm very advanced. Like this is it. And I've watched it and looked at it and read and watched a couple of videos. Like, no, 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 no. This is like no, it's on my level. So I reached out to you guys. <laughs> and I was like, I need my money back. <laughs> right. Or yeah, because this is like I know all this. This is like for right. me, this know is it, so know it up here. But we look at people and we go, when they have relationship problems, money problems, health problems, all those things, they may know a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if it's not coming down to earth, then there's a foundation mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. does serve you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. did it serve you? So when you sent me the letter like we're not gonna this this is the letter i loved it was you have to read it three times and then five times more next day or something because you, because smaller you cannot hear i thought that was funny and uh so we're not gonna return money even the most you know advanced spiritual people don't get to skip level one why would you because you watch dispenser like who you know doesn't make sense so and this is also exactly how i talk to my students because what hit me is when i talk like that to my students i'm so sure i'm right and i see their potential and i have to push them because they don't see it and this is exactly how i push them so that hit me like she's also an educator so she must know why would she tell me all this and why is she so confident because she knows so i gotta do it i've just so seen it thousands of times people come to me oh i've been on the spiritual path for 30 years and and i've you know i'm so advanced and and then they get into portal one and they go oh my god mm -hmm. how did i miss this mm -hmm. other so other paths spiritual bypass it so i i what hit me was i was doing so many things wrong even though i was sure that that's how you do it if we talk about dispenser he's amazing and smart but it's very scientific yeah. yeah he's he's great like i i love what he said it makes sense but he's very, very scientific but the part he is missing which you have is that it shouldn't be work Every time he talks, it sounds like it's a work. You have to stop doing this, do this. It's very like aggressive with yourself. And it's very uh, kind of like intimidating. Like if you don't stop thinking about this, this is going to happen because this is what happens biologically in your brains, blah, blah. So I was like, stop, don't think that. And you, and you say every emotion is normal. And if you feel sad and you stop, stop yourself you don't respect yourself you don't respect this emotion so it's gonna go away faster if you acknowledge it if you you know soothe it if you say that this is what's happening that was like shocking to me because i never lived like that 
I was always like, no, I should be positive. I should work on myself, blah, 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 you know? And this is, and then the second part to say, it shouldn't be work, it should be a process and a joy. And it should be slow because I'm very impatient. And you keep saying in, in capital letters all over the book and the course, <laughs> you say, you say, uh, if you go slow, you're going to get there faster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and sometimes I read, read and then you, you go, even if you think, you know, it was like you're talking to me, even if you think, you know, you don't. <laughs> I've been and dealing with people who have been yeah. on the spiritual path for like 30 years. And, and I, it, fortunately, I was able to see through a lot of that. Mm -hmm. go, mm -hmm. Oh, here's what they need. Mm -hmm. yeah so to respect negative emotions and to even make it look normal was very unusual for me and I started doing it and you're right it goes away faster mm -hmm. now I, I come back to it sometimes but I don't dwell on it and I don't go deep into it mm -hmm. I kind of sit talk about this with myself you know larger me and and it goes away and there is no so much resentment like it used to be every time or the fears. Oh, my God, this is going to happen. Uh -huh. It kind of like melting away. Mm -hmm. So um, the dancing, the music use a lot. I, I use music a lot, too, for mm -hmm. uh, it's very, very important, important. I think it's just such an important part of life. Like music can put you completely in a different mood yeah. and anger parts. It's right brain, too. Yeah. It puts you yeah. out of your left brain, out of your analytical mind. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So don't no one uses that. Dispenser doesn't use that. Like he only talks. I really I don't, don't know. know. I've yeah. just seen a few videos online. And again, he does some really good work, miraculous work. Um, but as far as whole life mastery and understanding your emotions and that all of that kind of foundation. No, it's more on a yeah. intellectual level. Yeah. And that's that's what you say. Like you don't even try to if the minute you think you understand it and can explain it in the words means that you don't understand it. Because this is something you shouldn't even try to understand with human language, right? Mm -hmm. It's so big that you just have to get there mm -hmm. instead of trying to put science in it to understand it. Mm -hmm. So that was also very like eye-opening for me. Because mm -hmm. I was trying to understand, to explain, to break it down. And that's completely opposite of what you were telling to do. You was like, look, give up and trust. Do just 10%. I was like, 10%? Everyone says like 95. She says 10%. It was so, so, so shocking to me. How can we do 10% and get it? So, um, it was very interesting. I, I was like binging and binging. I woke up and I need I, I had a desire to read it again or reread it or make notes because I feel like this put me in the right. Maybe it's like energized with your energy. I don't know what's your magic, yes. but it yes. does. It does uh, the thing. It does. It like soothes. The energy, yeah. the frequency that I invoke invites your frequency to match it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and when I wrote you that letter I think the same day the book came and I didn't know that the book was going to come so when I sent you the email like hey uh, you were right thanks for kicking me in the butt and I really needed it and I got the book and I was like yes I need the book because I need to make notes I need to you know underline and all of this plus yes. the art and all this is just so amazing Really loved it. And the other part also, like um, like you said, because I came with, to you also with the belief of Buddha. Remember you laughed at me? <laughs> well, so I didn't laugh. I was actually more like, hey. <laughs> Did you believe I'm that, someone there is Buddha on me. that someone can negatively uh, hurt you with energy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, people yeah. can hurt us with energy, but it's because we let their energy in or yeah but, but we have to let negativity in for it to hurt us yeah they can't put it on us so how's mm -hmm. that going um it doesn't it doesn't it's just it, i feel like this pain which was i thought part of it is almost gone good. and i kind of i stopped giving it power 
Mm -hmm. I stopped thinking of that because for me it was a sort of an excuse and I even projected it with this guy because um I kept warning him <laughs> I kept telling him that I have probably this thing in me every time I date and there is chemistry and I love someone like someone this happens they got sick or something happens with work or they got sick like they're in bed mm -hmm. and um he didn't pay attention to that that seriously but one day he did get sick when I was there mm -hmm. and I was like this is it this is exactly what's happening but now I think this is exactly what I was trying to prove to myself or something or used it as an excuse so now this pain is gone and I stopped talking about all this you know what a thing it's gone I don't want to even uh project all of that and the yeah and the other part in the book uh in the course you're saying that we don't need nothing in between us no angels you know garden angels or numbers and all of that mm -hmm. i always believed i have some garden angels and i needed them so for you to say that it can be such a shortcut and you can be so much in control is also very like mind blowing to me. Yeah, I have no problem that people like guardian angels or whatever they like, alien friends, um, you know, fairies or um guides. If, if people want that, that's fine. I I just feel like presence will accommodate people and show them what they want. Like when I talk mm -hmm. about creating your concept of God presence will accommodate you mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and, and but then I'm just like well why have that if you don't need it like you said I like the short I like what you say about short uh -huh. yeah, yeah. your large yeah. there's you your human self your large self presence pretty direct route mm -hmm. yeah so that's what I was uh I, I think I complicated the whole thing all these years too much you overthought um and put too much science into this which was complete mm -hmm. which is completely like slow and everything and the drive away part is also good as soon as i um get in some situation which can turn bad i just try to drive away yeah. i don't want to i don't want to create oh, i forgot scenario. about that story in the book where the in the uh -huh. dream the the, uh -huh. the the big man in the suit says just drive away just get in the car just drive away and drive yeah. away and yeah uh, like you don't need to know all this yeah you need yeah you don't need to know and i also questions. had a lot of just go i had a lot of lawsuits not a lot of the couple of, i was going through a horrible divorce um mm -hmm. and then it was eviction almost mm -hmm. you know, when when max my son was little and i it was it was a like horrible horrible time and that's all I was thinking about. Oh yeah. And it kept happening. Right. It could get worse, worse and worse and worse. Problem focus it. tunes us I, to a problem vibration, a problem. It was insane. It was such yeah. a wild ride. It was like, mm. why? It's and, and I kept telling to one friend, to another one. And it's like a victim and everyone feel pity. I have a question though. The compassion, the, the not compassion, compassion is great, but to feel pity to yourself or to other people is it good or it's not to feel like sympathy like what, pity what? like i'm what's when that word everyone was so everyone pity, pity. yeah pity pity I'll, yeah well pity. everyone yeah, yeah. I, I i'm it's not right or wrong but it's disempowering it's disempowering that's but yeah seeing that person as this poor helpless victim where yeah compassion has an uplifting large self frequency where pity is like oh we're all just these lumps of flesh and poor yeah. you and yes yeah i pity yeah. you a lot of people will say i don't want your pity because it feels bad to them that's what i don't oh, like exactly. so real yeah. high vibration people will say i don't want your pity exactly i, don't, I, don't what I say Get it yes. away from me <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But that's what I got a lot when it was like horrible time. And I was dwelling on the worst scenarios possible sure. day and night. Yes. And <laughs> also and loves a problem to chew on and it keeps mm -hmm. small self in control. Survival self is always looking for what's wrong. Um, mm -hmm. 
what could go wrong, what has gone wrong, what is wrong, and what could go uh-huh. wrong. It's like that's, mm-hmm. that's yeah. a job, yeah. which is fine. Mm-hmm. It's fine. As soon as we begin to witness that and understand it's just doing its job, don't become a slave to it, then mm-hmm. it's okay. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But don't uh, stop it either abruptly, like I used to do. Like, yeah, no, just cut it off. Just need to let it in, but cut it off. Yeah, that's, that's, it's like dancing. That's the move I had to learn from you because yeah. I, I didn't have it at all. I didn't have the skill. So then I had days and it comes and goes, you know, it's like waves. You say it's a process. So oh. I had days when I had so much uh, self-love in me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, I'm so beautiful. Look at my legs. Look at this. I'm, look at look at this. Well, yeah. it's just, I didn't know anyone to tell me this. Usually, I need somebody to tell me this, but this time it was like me and my son started recently yeah. waking up. Uh, well, he's a very loving boy. He's a boy, so he started recently waking up and he needs to hug me for a very very long time and say that he loves usually it's how i wake up and now it's maybe he feels very sensitive like when it comes to energy so i think he started sensing uh this too but then i have days when i go angry angry always brought me something good i feel like anger like i agree with you on that it's a bridge yeah Every time I got angry, the way I moved to the USA, I got angry. It's like, that's it. Done. I'm going to do it. And I did it. It's like my kick in the butt, my last straw when I'm angry. And I was angry at this lawsuit situations, at me being so miserable. I got angry at myself and I moved out from that situation. So I don't have any drama going on. I mean, he's trying, but I'm not, you know, I'm not entertaining it. Right. So angry is really, really good thing. Uh, and it worked for me. So, yeah. So I'm sometimes go like into this, like flying like a fair. I, I pictured myself over there, like maybe um, like a fairy, you know, like little, but so light. Yes. And so, yes. You know, like just with the with this little stick and little yes. magic. Like you don't care. You just like float in. It. So I. Yes feel myself like that sometimes or right now I feel like I'm giving up what is the um the panel I think I'm in between giving up bored yeah it's above the yeah. tipping point though it's not exciting yeah but it's above yeah in the different, like tipping point yeah. It's a good place to be. It's kind of empty. Yeah. It doesn't have a charge on it, positive mm-hmm. or negative. It's kind of a neutral mm-hmm. charge, but it's a mm-hmm. place from which you can go anywhere, especially up. And mm-hmm. are you at that point yet? You will be where it's just all okay. Where, where, however you're feeling. Yes, I am. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. That's yeah. I stop judging myself. I stop, uh, stop stopping me. Like yeah. even during the day or something. Yes, I'm sad about this person. That's fine. I, I even tell myself I feel sad, and that's okay. That's so, fine. and then it just go. It just melts faster. And before it used to be like, no, I shouldn't be sad. I should, be. and it gets stronger and stronger. And then you have insomnia. And you have dreams about it because it doesn't go away. So now it can't it's like, move. It can't flow when we clean. Yeah down on it yeah that's beautiful well i'll tell you what to have gone from resistance to here now you're zooming now you're you're moving actually you've moved through those stages very fast mm-hmm. and, and also one thing i was so um i think i was very needy um needy i needy and i couldn't stand to be by myself Right. Because I'm I'm so busy with my son and with my stuff and my mom here. So I'm so used to be never alone. So when he is alone, when he is sometimes with his dad, I literally caught myself on the on the thing, like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I can't I <laughs> load myself with work, load myself with work. <laughs> never went on a bike alone, never went to the places because I'm gonna be sad because we went there with my son and now he's not here. So it's like I was I couldn't separate. That's what actually happened. I couldn't separate myself from him. That's how I forgot about myself as a person and as a human being. Yeah. 
-hmm. I was completely focusing on him. So after this couple of chapters, for the first time in years, I went on a hike and I stayed there alone and I sit and I watched the mountains and I was crying. I don't know why I was crying. Of course. But it was for the first time in seven years. Okay. I never go anywhere alone. I can't stand it. Now I was like, it was like I was not alone. And that's part of that foundation. If you can't be with you, if you don't feel this love for you, then it makes you needy. And another Mm -hmm. person feels that neediness and something inside Mm -hmm. of them says, I can never feel that. Mm -hmm. I can never, ever feel that. And it's scary. Mm -hmm. And they Mm -hmm. run, run, run. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. So now you're letting in the love deeply of your son you're filling up on that and you're filling up on your own love yeah Mm -hmm. and so Mm -hmm. now you can probably see looking back why i said oh relationships not real important right now and you're (laughs) now (laughs) if not now soon it won't be so hard Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just natural a full person meets a full person and then you have you're flowing you have you don't Mm -hmm. have two beggars going fill me feed me you've got Mm -hmm. people sharing Mm -hmm. adding it's all addition no subtraction Mm -hmm. yeah sharing i used to say all that but i never didn't read it right it's there so we go weird. again. Yeah, having it up here. Oh, I know all that. I know. Yeah, I'm. Um, yeah, the one that takes just... you through the experiences to actually get it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, very interesting. And um, the part about parents, and the part about uh, I, I, I started here, but then I skipped to the last chapter. Okay, because <laughs> I. Was... Well, it's not like the answers are there. You've already figured that out. This is not linear like that. You can't skip to the end because if the foundation's not there, the end makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, exactly. yeah. 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 I was just curious. Yeah, so to, to love all your exes and never be angry with them. That was also very uh, impossible for me. I, I know girls who are uh, friends literally friends with all the exes which is another level of craziness for me but not to be angry i had to like check with myself well you have to move the anger if it's there of course you can't just say yeah nick's anger as you've discovered anger helps you move. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so where are you with that uh with the uh love and the ex with the exes yeah where are you with yeah that? so I can't say that I uh, love, uh, but I do not. Well, I never hate it, really. I was just um, uh, upset and felt that that was not fair. Okay, then, now, you, then you feel the upset. Yeah, mm-hmm. feel. Yeah. You, you dive in, use the diving in process. Yeah. Yeah. And again, don't push it. Don't push mm-hmm. it. Set your intention, be willing you will get there. You're you're moving along very quickly. Go easy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It 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 all comes when you just immerse yourself in the as you've discovered, reading it, mm-hmm. knowing it, one thing. Immersing, feeling, experiencing the materials, mm-hmm. letting it, letting that vibration tune you. It happens. Mm-hmm. it happens it's like a lot it's like sometimes it goes unexpectedly with nothing really it's like you right. said in the book mm-hmm. nothing really happened nothing really happened right like mm-hmm. no major changes but i all of a sudden okay feeling not okay and i'm i'm just fine you know i'm not hard on myself and sometimes i get it's almost like you're drunk or something. You get into this mood <laughs> when you... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you surf that. Oh, okay. Right now I'm blissed yeah. out. Okay, right now I'm sad. It's all moving. It's all yeah. It's all good. It is. It also different. It's a completely different mindset, and it's a different mentality. Because, for example, Europeans or where I came from, 
we have a complete opposite attitude to God. Like I like what you said, uh, that somebody at one of your meetings, you said that this, uh, he was a recovering Baptist. A recovering Baptist. <laughs> I laughed so hard. I was like, <laughs> yes, Bob's <laughs> watching us right now. He's on. He's in the non-physical laughing still. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It was so funny. So yeah, with, with the church there, and my parents were very religious, and I had to go to church, mm-hmm. and it's all about fear. Fear. Like Absolutely. God is gonna punish you. It's mm-hmm. a sin. You're a sinner. You're born sinner because you're a woman, and on your period you can't go to church because you're a sinner. You have to wear a long skirt, cover your head. Everything is like don't even say the word God because it's a sin. Mm-hmm. So I grew up with the fear to even think about this or even yeah, and, and in that crazy that. fears down here and the way i talk right. about the instrument panel is that this is a gauge of how close you are to god okay so in fear you're the far almost as far away is that right it's very it's far away. Yeah. yeah yeah but fear was a political control that's the short of course the short was the always political yeah, it was opposed to the government yes yeah, yeah. yeah. and they it's like people fearful. thinking alike being afraid of one store it's all but it's easy to control intimidated people so that's yeah yeah and to make make them yeah empowered people are not easily controlled so that would have never worked for the ancient church yeah never would have worked yeah 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 Yeah, Yeah. it's it's funny yeah and so oh i'm so glad you're just exploding with this (laughs) growth Uh and evolution Mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm beautiful so beautiful so Thank what you. would you say to people that think they already know it all or that well if they anything like me and i know there are many out there like me <laughs> so the more resentment you feel and i have a strong intuition and i'm not talking about like don't do it it may be dangerous right, right? but right, if right. if it's some sort of knowledge you think you know you don't know the more you think you know you probably don't know and the more resentment you have it's a sign for you to do it because (laughs) as it's just do it like close your ear whatever just take it and just do it because if you don't do it you're gonna stay where you are and it's just gonna keep happening but this little step it's so hard because it's like i know this um it's so many self-talk it's like this is so stupid why would you why did you spend on this now you all you you can watch it online somewhere for free and this is just like you know (laughs) your mother what are you doing and all of that just stop it and it and then it stops as soon as you get in like this little you know it, it just stops it just no one talks no more it's like well, I'm, and celebrating. And- I'm celebrating that you're loving yourself you can be with yourself you value being with yourself you're mm-hmm. letting in your feeling you're mm-hmm. building this foundation for yourself it's not about what what about my boyfriend it's about ah let's take care mm-hmm. of me and my growth mm-hmm. I'm just really celebrating that and uh, how long you. has that been from resistance to where you are today? Was this a month? <laughs> it was a month. Yeah, it was a month. But when I transform, <laughs> I transform. Like when I decided to move, and uh, when I decided to move from, yeah. uh, it was, it's like, this is how I am. Yeah. It's very typical of me. So yeah. when I was, people usually decide to move to another country, they take months, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. I just, and at UCLA, they give me two weeks notice and I was driving on the summer wheels in the snow trying to get stuff done to move to another country. I couldn't even sell what I had, but yeah. that's my yes. once you <laughs> Once you make up your mind, well, yeah. everybody get out of your way because you are on your way. And so right. first you feel better, which you are, even though you, even though I say you wobble till you stabilize and then you always mm-hmm. Will continue. I still, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the the manifestations must match your vibration, and your vibration Mm -hmm. is way up from where it was Mm -hmm. one month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, Mm -hmm. look forward to. Uh, well, look, you've seen what other people said who have been doing this well. Look forward to Mm -hmm. back in about a year Mm -hmm. going. 
wow, new life in this body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. not sooner for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, things can happen overnight mm -hmm. with, with shifts, even though, like you're saying, as you're just immersing in the material, you don't always know a big shift has happened, but then you see mm -hmm. the manifestation of it and go, whoa, something happened. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been just delightful talking with you, yeah. even though I wondered at first if you were going to hate me, how direct we were being <laughs> with you, me and Alex were being very direct, but we know we've, we've, this yeah. isn't our first rodeo. We've had some experience yeah. and we know when somebody needs, you know, tender, loving encouragement or when they need like, bam, get yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That definitely works for me. I was yeah, like, what? Does. That's how they talk to me. What? I know. You must know I something. <laughs> it's, we trust our gut. We trust our heart that that people can feel it. You're not the first who's come back and said, thanks for the tough love. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I adore you. I can't wait to get well, to Thank you her. so much. Yes. I love you too. I'm so happy we met. I mean, this was like such a... um very unpredictable experience it was like almost like it's supposed to you know absolutely almost to. everybody i'm connected with there's some yeah. kind of thing going on the way mm -hmm. they find me the way yeah mm -hmm. it we're mm -hmm. we're some kind of soul family yeah yeah i believe that that we meet the same uh yeah the same group of souls yeah different lives yeah we just decided to get together and have another adventure together right yes okay well if i'm in san diego i would um i would love to have like a coffee or something with you and maybe introduce it to my son i'd love just it. just if, if you just for go. the fun i'd love it yeah yeah just yeah. for the fun yeah nice well thank you so much thank you for um i know how much work not work but how much you know energy you put into this Mm -hmm. to share with people mm -hmm. and it just says how much you care mm -hmm. and how much you want people to feel what you feel and yourself you're like given so much mm -hmm. like so much it's just overwhelming you're such a generous person so i thank you from the bottom of my heart for you know doing this and sharing it all with us and believing in stuck and very um blind people sometimes because <laughs> that's that means a lot because most people would just give up no seriously they will just say oh my god i don't want you as a client or like blah, blah. but you didn't you would just like do portal one do it okay you could hang up <laughs> but you didn't so it i makes didn't you feel that i didn't feel that it was wasted effort i felt that no no this is yeah putting the time into writing to you and saying do it, do it, do it. it I, mm -hmm. I felt it. Felt it. Yeah. We know. Well, yeah. So yeah. thank you. Thank you so much. You're amazing. I'm so honored to even, you know, be uh, with you right now. Just reading all this. And she is right here. And she is here with me. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for letting it in, my dear. 